I'm in my second year with OPA with 20 years management experience. I chose OPA because of the fit with mission, becoming the indispensable partner with every school we serve. I truly do believe becoming that partner is the most important key. A great way to do that is looking for added value that you can bring to your client. One easy one is grants. We have gained $75,000 in grant funding for our Batesville Public School. These grants have been used to uh, account for uh, additional equipment, supplies, and labor that we needed to pivot to virtual feeding. From March to April of 2020, we served over 3,000 meals a day. And one day in December, we served over 20,000 meals. This would not have been financially possible for our district without the additional funding. Receiving grants is also a very personal victory for me. With these funds, we were able to serve not only the children in our district, but the children in our surrounding communities. Probably the biggest thing that I would tell you about grants, the number one thing is you have to apply. If you're not applying, you're not going to receive them. Grants are easy. It's not something that's hard. Three easy steps, you're going to locate your grants. You're going to completely understand the grants. Are they matching grants? Are they fully funded grants? Then you're gonna understand the reporting of your grants. Probably the most important uh, source I have is organizations that have granted us money in the past. Uh, you're going to be aware that some of your grants you can apply for uh, only by the district. Some you can apply for uh, by the school. In my case, I've been able for some grants to apply for seven times for each one of my schools. One of the most important things is if you receive uh, an acknowledgement that you've received a grant, be prompt. Immediately reach out to that organization and thank them and find out what the next steps are. I always ask for the maximum that a grant's available for. It may vary. Uh, there's been times that I asked for the max. Uh, one last summer I asked for $20,000. I was granted 10, but then a couple of months later, uh, I got a phone call and they told me that there was two other organizations that were gonna give us $5,000 a piece to fulfill our full need. When you're filling out those grants, be specific, tell your story, but also do it from a very high level. Be very respectful of the grant committee's time. They read a lot of these. Be sure and tell them what you're trying to do it, how you're trying to do it, and what your roadblocks are. If you didn't have any roadblocks or obstacles out there, you wouldn't need the grant funds. Then when it comes to the reporting side, then you've got that story to tell. Be sure and tell them how it's going. Send them pictures. Pictures really are worth a thousand words. I send pictures of the equipment we purchase. I send pictures of that grant money in motion. As you start spending your money, make sure you're collecting, uh, keeping copies of all of your invoices, uh, the supplies you purchase, any labor that was paid for by the grant, so that it makes it easy for you to, to do your reporting. Uh, getting your reporting done on time is key. Um, you can't, these organizations cannot go out and ask for more money if, if we aren't reporting in what we did with it. Make those measurable things that you want to feed a thousand more children. You want to be able to reach two more communities. And then tell them how you did on that goal. When you do receive them, be thankful. Immediately thank that organization. Be excited about it, be appreciative, be thankful for what they've given you.